Hi, it's me, Josephine, and today I would love to talk about the Grimm's friends. This time, the wind down there. I have showed the Grimm's friends already in a different video where I was talking about all the Grimm's toys I had during that time. It's a while ago that I bought the Grimm's friends. My daughter was very young. She was still a baby when I bought them and I am very happy with the decision that I bought them. And when I'm looking at them, I'm just showing you, this is one my daughter does not play a lot with. And then you see here one where she plays a lot with. Crazy. See the skin color has changed. And also, the whole color here all over is, is everywhere nice, but here it's everywhere, it's fading. The whole color is disappearing. Here again is the other one. Do you see the difference? It's a huge difference. It's really... This is really one of her favorite pack dolls of all the pack dolls she owns. I am really, like I said, very happy about the decision I made buying those. My daughter is using them for so many different things. I have seen them being salt and pepper. I have seen them being the bottle for a baby. I have seen them being just pack dolls <laughs> and being just dolls. So they could be mama and papa. They could be the bus driver, or they're flying the airplane, or they're flying the car, or they are the guests on a party. I have also seen them being so many other things. I cannot even remember everything I have seen them as. There's just so much because you can imagine so much more than I can tell you, and your kids even more. And this is just what those toys are made for, and I really, really love that. This is a wonderful toy, and yes, they are expensive, and yes, you can make your own pack dolls. So, is it worth it to buy the ones from Grimm's, or should you just make your own ones? I believe that this is not really about worth, this is more about what do you want to do. Yes, it is cheaper to make your own ones than to buy the ones from the company Grimm's, especially if you're not living in Germany, it can be quite expensive. But I also think it is really great because of the colors. The colors do not disappear so fast as the ones you would make yourself. And you know that you can trust this company, that you can trust this brand. They are well known for that, that they don't use just anything. They are really doing a lot of research, tests, and uh, having extremely high um they they don't use just anything let's say like that the word is just gone <laughs> but i guess you understood they do not just use anything they really know what they're using and they are well known for using only the good stuff and of course they have those very beautiful colors and kids really love them so is it worth to buy them instead of making them i mean you see my decision was to buy them and then to make them because I also wanted to look at them, to have them here, and I wanted that my especially little child is able to have something what does not make me crazy if she has it in her mouth, but she used to do. There was this time when she was having those dolls sometimes at her mouth, not completely inside. Of course, they are big enough. I was really looking for that, that she doesn't do that. Otherwise, I wouldn't have given them to her, but I wanted to have something what I do not feel bad about. Of course, you can just use a natural one, what is absolutely unpainted for that time, and later on you can paint it or not, whatever you like. So, is it worth it? I think that is really not like, yeah, you should do it, or no, you shouldn't do it. That's more like, hey, what do you want? What are your expectations? Let's let's talk about selling it. If you are selling later on the pack dolls you have made by yourself, the chance that you get good money for that is very small. You get very, very small amounts, if something at all, for that. But if you are selling the ones from Grimm's, then everybody's like, oh yeah, that's that brand. And 
you get good money for that. And even though they do not look at the end like new anymore, especially here, I can see that the people still pay a lot of money in these work or use toys. In Germany, not so much. But still, you get good money for that. Depending on your country, there you will see what is good money for it. But you know what I'm talking about. Like here, you get almost a new price for something that looks like it's almost broken. <laughs> You have to really make your own decision. What do you want? What is your expectation? And then let's just take a bunch of green ones that are completely different. So this one is the Grimm's one. This is one what is just cheap and bought. If you decide between those two, definitely please decide for this one. Every kid likes this one better. I have a bunch of kids here sometimes and no kid loves those like that. These are favorites. These not. Made by me and also made by me. These are usually more like by the older kids, like around four or five. Older. <laughs> and um, these are usually like by the kids under that age. I wouldn't say that there's really a difference between Grimm's and this, but I do see a difference of the shape. So these just feel more ergonomic than those when you're holding them. I think that is one of the reasons why my daughter likes to grab them, because of the shape. I'm really, in general, not a big fan of this pack doll shape or this pack doll shape. I also took another video about that. I really prefer this pack doll shape. It feels better in the hand of a child. It's more ergonomic. And I believe that this might be the reason why all those bigger companies what do make pack dolls have this shape. Like Grimm's and what's it called? The other one with those bigger ones. What are they called? Grabat. <laughs> and also, I think she's called People. Like like People, but People. Written different, which is right there. You can see it. And she's making the pack dolls what look like, like those. That's not from her. That's made by me. I copied her. Hers are prettier. But I'm pretty happy. With the result of that one. It's a very good copy. It's mine. I'm not selling. I would never do that. You can't just copy something and then sell it. Okay, so are they worth it? For me, they were worth it. For you, I don't know. Figure it out. What do you need? What are you looking for? Okay, I wish you a beautiful time. I really hope that video was helpful for you. I see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and I would love if you would leave me a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. You would help my channel so much and I am always so interested to see your thoughts and to read about them. Feel also free to follow my Instagram account and then I see you in the next video. Goodbye!